we'll check out what's new in AnyType Desktop version 0.50. Now the big feature of this release is chats, which is the secure messaging within the AnyType app. I'll also cover the UI changes to the sidebars and some quality of life updates. Timestamps are as usual in the video description below if you want to skip ahead. Okay, first up with chat, there are two ways to enable it. So right now I'm in my spaces list and you can see that there is now a difference between the icons. The square ones are spaces and the ones that are circles are separate chat channels. And if I click into here, my Rohan writers group, we get to this screen and we still have our spaces here. You can collapse it to get more space. And if you go up to the top right, there is another panel here on the right side. So this is your widgets. You have all the types that come with the space as well as your settings here. Now, this is only if you have the separate chat channel. I'll show you the second way that you can view it that does not have the right hand panel. So let's go back over to our spaces and let's go here. And so this space, this is the second way you can have chat is if you share your space that, and it can be an existing space or you can share a new space if you want. And if you don't see the chat here, I'm gonna show you in a different space where to find that. You can select settings and then invite members. So click on link disabled and you can click on any of these three to get the next screen. And so, it will say invite link has been created. Now, even if you're just using the space by yourself, you might still find a use case for chat because it does have timestamps on it, which I found to be really useful if you're just taking quick notes throughout the day. So next up is the process for sharing your invite link. Now the process is the same when you start sharing the invite link. It's the same for both spaces and for separate chat channels. When someone gets an invite link, they click on it and then they're prompted to either open their AnyType app or to download the AnyType app. And then once they're inside of their AnyType vault, they have to click a message that pops up that says join. They will see either the chat channel or the space in their own vault. Now, just a couple things about sharing the spaces or channels is that there are three roles right now. The owner role is the top level role and they have the most permissions. So they can pretty much remove any members. They can change their role from editor to view only and they can pretty much delete the space or disable any new invites to the space. Uh, the second level would be the editor role, and this is actually the default role when you invite someone. So just keep that in mind that they will have the ability to both edit messages, objects, as well as the space name and the space icon. And then the lowest role right now is the view only, which just means that someone can be in the space, but they don't really have any way to write inside of it. And at this time, creating new chat channels is available in desktop. The updates are coming very soon for mobile, for iOS and Android. Okay, on to the new UI for the sidebar. So let me get back out all the way to the spaces panel. Now you can see here that it has changed. It is no longer a permanent kind of narrow panel on narrow panel on the left side. It will change once you click on a space. So if I click into here, you'll see that now this is my widgets panel. So let me just go back so we can see what else is in here. You do have the option to pin spaces. So if you right click on a space, you have the option to pin or unpin as well as directly go to the space settings. And then the pin allows you to also use command shortcut. Uh, and then once you pin a space, you can also start using keyboard shortcuts. So to get to this first one, it would be command or control plus one. If you had a second space down here, it'd be command and control two and so forth. Now, if you click into a chat, separate chat channel, you'll see that this stays the same. It's not going to change because again, the chat channel has the widgets on the right side. Um, and then let me click back into here. So let me go back one more. 
Okay, so in the spaces panel down here in the lower left corner, we have our vault settings. And then you can also access the any type experience gallery. And this is where we have ready-made templates that you can use in your spaces. And then the help menu is here. I wanna mention that the search bar up here is only for the spaces list. So if I search for tags here, it's only going to show me the space that I have that's called tags, okay? So search within a space is actually over here. Um, you can click on the title here or you can go to search right here and this is what's called the widget or shortcuts panel. Okay, so here we've got the search here. We have the ability to add a new object and this one allows you to pick from all the different types that you have. And then we do have two sections now on the widgets shortcut panel. So we have this first one called pinned and we have a second one called objects. Now the difference here is that pinned is for your customizable shortcuts. So whatever you want to use most frequently, you can put it in the pinned section. And then objects is actually all the types in your space. Let me talk a little bit about the pinned section. This one you might have, it's called old pinned if you've been using any type for a while. This was previously our favorites widget and I currently don't have anything that was in here, but just know that you can't rename this section and if you delete it, it's not going to come back. So you can choose to keep this if you like it, or you can just create a brand new collection if you want to have it displayed this way where there's like a section and there's a bunch of links underneath it. Now the rest of these, you know, you can still keep them. The other one that you have to be careful about is the recently edited. If you delete this one, it's also not coming back. So if you want to recreate that one, you would end up making a new query and then using the property last edited. Another thing that has changed is the way that pins work. So in the top right corner, we have add to pinned and Previously, this used to add them here to your pinned or your favorites, but that is no longer the case. If I choose add to pinned, it will create its own little widget here. And so again, if you want to have it be like this section, you're gonna have to use collections for now. So you may find, find the so you may find that these new widgets do take up a lot of space, but you might want to consider organizing your content into collections and that way you can have multiple links underneath one, air, one widget here. Another thing that has changed very close to the pinned widget is the properties icon. This still opens the right panel where you can edit all of your properties, but this used to be, I think it was like three bullets and now it is a letter I or information icon. So now I'm gonna show you another quality of life update, which was sorting your properties. If I click here, I've got some options for low and medium, and now you have the option to change these around. So usually it would stay in the order that you created them, but now you have the option to drag this up to low, medium and high. So that is a really great quality of life update. This also works for multi-select property type, which is similar to tags property type. And then there was one more update to bullet points. So if you have a list of items and you press enter after an empty bullet, it will continue the list and if you want to remove the style you just have to do backspace and if you want to try out chats but you don't have anyone to chat with in the full release release notes that are linked in the video description below you can find a link for the any type community which is a fun way to try it out 